Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mommy Guide Inc., where we talk about everything dear and essential to moms and moms at, uh, at heart. For those who are new to my channel, I am Mommy Lala. So our topic for today is something really very dear to me and my children and my whole household, a household as we are all board game fanatics. Even my yayas actually are so good that I can barely beat them in splendor. So I am also a homeschooling mom and when both my kids were still being homeschooled, tabletop gaming was even an avenue for us for learning. Even during the weekdays before, we would go to gaming cafes or restaurants like Ludo and Dice and, Ga Dice and Dine. Then we decided to curate our own game board library and several hundreds of game boards later, we opened up our own uh, board game cafe called Rec Room Cafe in front of our tutorial and review center in Project 3 in Quezon City, Philippines. Of course, it's closed down right now because of the pandemic. So for my son, Jose Luis, he loves Choose Your Own Adventure solo play card game, The 5 Minute Dungeon, Pingo Pingo, Dixit, Inching Along, Fauna, Mathable, Animal Upon Animal, Timeline, Dr. Eureka, and so many others to help teach math concepts and reading and just have overall fun. For my daughter, on the other hand, her, she likes Takinoko, Machikoro, Sushigo, Guides Blitz, Catan, Ticket to Ride, Pandemic, Exploding Kittens, Splendor, Seven Wonders, Lift It Concept, Throw Throw Burrito recently, and many more. And recently in my learning center, we make use of Salitaan. Okay, it's the Filipino board game to help our students improve and learn better Filipino vocabulary skills. And today, we are so blessed to have with us Mr. Willow Turingan of Gaming Library to talk about everything and anything board games or table <coughs> tabletop gaming. And so without further ado, let's always welcome Gaming Library's very own Mr. Willow Turingan. Hello, sir. Good morning, Willow. Hello, Mami Lala. Hello, mm -hmm. guys. Hello. Okay, mag-read lang muna tayo ng ating mga comments. Okay. Hi, uh, Inspirational Connection TV. Hi, Samantha. Good evening to you over there. Yes, because she's from the U.S. Hi, Samantha. Viv, magandang hapon. Good afternoon, Vivian. Scrap stash. Good afternoon. Oh, oh, hold on. My mouse just... <laughs> Hello, okay. guys. Excited good afternoon. Excited ang aking mouse. All right. So, um, good afternoon, Tracy. Good afternoon, Miss Lala. Okay, sabi niya, hello, Mami Lala and Sir Willow. Okay, Samantha, ex super excited for today's topic. Yes. And Teacher Mildred or Teacher Red. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> Actually, Teacher Mildred and uh, her husband, si Earl, were the very first talaga to encourage us to actually go into, you know, board games. Okay, Millionaire's Game lang alam ko. Alright. <laughs> Sean, You're let's... You're gonna learn more. Yes, Sean Villanueva. Let's go, Willow. Yes, okay. <laughs> Hello, Sean. <laughs> Hello, Sean. And then, Love You May. Hi po. Hello din. And finally, Earl. Mentor ko yan sa game boards. Pag meron akong hindi maintindihan, <laughs> Earl, paano ba ito? Okay, inaanak ko yan sa kasal. <laughs> Right. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, hello from oh Thailand. Uh, hello, sir, <laughs> Mr. William. Hello, sir. And uh, sir, sir Willow and Miss Lala. All right. So for those who are watching, either on my Facebook page, personal Facebook page, Mommy Guide Inc.'s Facebook page, or um, Mommy Guide Inc.'s YouTube channel, kindly put on the comments, ano ang inyong favorite game board or board game? What is your favorite board game of all time? The reason why is because at the end of the show, we're going to be raffling this awesome board game. Just one. Again, available at Gaming Library. This is the localized version, guys. So it's really good also for those who have kids and for the whole family. So if you put your comments, I will get all the names of those who commented and posted the name of their uh, favorite board game. At isasama namin kayo sa raffle at the end of the show. So, Sir Willow, Willow, Willow na lang kasi yes. bata, batang bata yes, po siya kaya sa kay Mami Lala. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Willow, what is your favorite board game? And how did you get into this 
uh, you know, board game passion. Okay. Or community. Right. I'll start with like how I got into the hobby. I I, right. I was in college. I I was I was in the hobby since I guess 2013, 2013, 2012. But when we were kids, we used to play um these games like Monopoly, Clue, mm-hmm. uh, Risk. So I went to this mall. I bought Risk, and then I was I played it with my brothers, and we were like, oh, it's taking too long. Uh, I'm sure there are better games now. Mm-hmm. And then I went on to like uh, search on sites. I found this show called Tabletop on YouTube, and then discovered uh the different board games and it just i just kept looking for more it's it's just a fun way of learning and uh spending time with the family exactly uh, for my for my current favorite board game it's actually here by my bed uh, it's called viticulture it's a game it's a game about making wine yeah uh, but it teaches you also the process of making wine so you have to uh, plant the grapes uh harvest them uh, crush them, put them in the wine cellar, and then eventually sell them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, for for those who are m- more or less my age, so you see, po ang laki na ng nag improvement ng uh, tabletop gaming or game boards po. Okay. So more mo- most of the time ngayon po, may strategy na you really have to yeah. think. So it's really not just a game of of chance. I've played Viticulture, I think once or twice. Hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin siya masyado magets. But my kids know how to do it. Earl taught me how to do it. So, as we said, no, so as Willow uh, mentioned, no, so that's how he transitioned from, you know, the, the usual what we were playing or used to play before. The thing din kasi Willow before, even if we wanted to like play more board games, the selection locally, wala eh. Diba? Hindi rin. It's, it's really very, very limited. So um, that's, I think that's where gaming library went in uh, ten years ago. Exactly. Uh, started bringing in these um, board games for uh, for collectors, for the enthusiasts, which was hard to get or it was expensive to get from other countries. All right. So it's hard to get and expensive. So those two yes. things actually prevented a lot of people from actually trying to get onto this platform of you know fun, enjoyment, and learning. All right. So as as our titles for today, diba sabi natin ga- game board for critical uh, uh, thinking, diba to help critical thinking or critical learners. So um, nowadays, Sir Willow, um, is board games a more popular game for both kids and adults alike nowadays? Yeah, actually, uh, there was a spike uh, around twenty. I think it, it was the same time I came into the lobby uh, to the hobby. At around 2013, 2014, 15, where uh, games were available in the Philippines. And uh, people started making more games also in other countries like in Europe and the US. Mm-hmm. Uh, we started bringing them here. Um, so uh, it kind of got more popular recently, also because of the pandemic, because uh, we, we crave for the social interaction. Uh, and uh, we get that from playing board games also instead of like digital games which is i mean you still get them there Mm -hmm. but it's different if you're on the same table uh telling stories uh telling jokes while you're having fun playing a board game so actually during the pandemic nagkaroon din ng spike pala yes all right so you know instead of going to board game cafes it's now done at home Yes. Right? Kasi more time for family, more time that you can be together. Diba? So, okay. So, um, how can it complete with uh, compete with the excitement of digital games? So, as you said, diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, nandyan pa rin naman yung mga digital games. So, uh, I know, you know, uh, Willow is also a gamer. Okay? He has <laughs> <Yes>. actually, <laughs> uh, you can follow him. Willow Way? Is it Willow Way? <laughs> It's Willoway with yes, three Willow Way. Yes, Willoway. So yes. he does both, no? So there's nothing wrong. It's just that um, yung excitement and sabi nga yung um, physical face-to-face interaction is is there. But um, how can it compete, sir? Or is it uh, on a different level? Yeah. Um, it, it's it's pretty similar to having digital games and having like um, while you're on a video call with your friends. Mm-hmm. But it's just different that you can move a certain pieces and then you can see them face to face, especially in games like uh, bluffing games or deduction games where you're trying to find out 
who in the group is bluffing, uh, mm. it's still different when you're playing that kesa yung you're playing uh, online or uh, through through a video call. Also, the tactile aspect of just playing games where you can touch board board game pieces, which highly improved in the past five years. Um, uh, it's just different. Like you, you you get you get a big chunk chunk of miniature. You move it to an area that you're gonna conquer. It's mm-hmm. it's it has a different feel from just dragging a picture and putting it somewhere else. Yes, I agree. So may tactile, lalo na if if. Yeah. If your uh, son or daughter, or if you have members of the family who are, you know, kinesthetic or tactile learners, no? yes. so they, they yeah. really so, want that feel of being able to actually see and feel, right? Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, speaking of tactile, you you can't also replicate a dexterity game into digital. Uh, mm. It's very hard to exactly uh, like say balance, put balance in like a a mouse, a keyboard. It's different if you get a big piece, try to balance it over. A wobbling tower. Uh, it still exactly. has a big difference. It it uh it's it can also compete in the digital uh with digital games or so video games. No, uh since uh we we like spending time with the family on the table. We want mm. to be unplugged from these iPads, from these phones, yes. from the computers. Yes, parents uh, like me like that. No, the unplug yeah. every now and then. Uh-oh. Yeah, so so, we so it, it, talk. so we can uh. Sometimes, like our parents, they don't want to play uh, video games uh, because they have to learn all these mechanics from these Totoo, video games. Oh, it's so complicated. So, yeah. So, so, and also, like, the, it, it's it's hard to follow now. Their eyes is uh-uh, is yeah, hard on the true. screen. Uh-uh. So when you play board games, it's it's well more welcoming for the whole family to just join on the table. Exactly. All right. So don't worry. Marami pa po tayong itatanong kay Sir Willow. We'll just need to read some of more of the comments. So Monopoly is my all-time favorite. Oh. <laughs> Sabi ni Inspirational Connection TV. All right, Samantha. It was too one of my favorites in the past. Okay. So Tracy or of Scrap Stash, my favorite board game of all time, Six and Ladders. Okay. <laughs> Jan tayo lahat nagsimula. Why not? <laughs> diba? All right. Samantha, Machikoro. Machikoro. Nice. <laughs> All right, sa gaming library din niya yan nabili. All right, so scrap stash, leave less snakes. Ano? I love less snakes and ladders when I was younger. <laughs> yes, I think all of us, uh, Samantha. All right, Splendor. It's Splendor. easy to play, easy to teach to others, and fun. Perfect. That's true, uh, Teacher Red. You know, um, I taught this to my children and to my nannies, my yayas. Now I can't beat them. <laughs> <laughs> They are. I, I rarely win in Splendor nowadays. All right. So, hi, Samantha. That's my name, too. Yes, another Samantha. There's Samantha Audrey and Samantha of Inspirational Connection TV. Actually, if you if you would like to follow, you know, um, she has really good contents also. Casey Samantha of Inspirational Content TV, Connection TV. Okay, si Lavi naman po. Chess board games naman sa kanya. Nice. All right. And si Earl... My favorite would be Clans of Sir- Caledonia. Okay, hindi ko alam paano i-pronounce. It. That is nice. Okay, it has Good the game. right amount of long-term strategy and tactical turn-based and area control plus economy mechanics with a little bit of actual history. Plays an average of 2 hours for 4 players. Okay, so yeah. now you understand why Earl is my mentor. Okay? <laughs> if there's some I, I know. I, yeah, you know Earl? I know he's a gamer now. Yeah, yeah. A uh, board gamer. Exactly. So uh, if not for him, I wouldn't have, you know, um, understood most of the games that we have right now. And then, sabi ni Mark, oh, sabi niya, Sir Willow, <laughs> guapo! Oh, yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, tani, that's, loloko ka niya. <laughs> Mark, that's my, that's my teammate. <laughs> All right. So, for, for Miss Rams, for my age, okay, more or less ka-age ko to eh. Mommy din siya. For my age, board games is still mm-hmm. better during this pandemic. It gives the family the chance to be closer and bond more. I 100% Perfect. agree po, Miss Rams. Okay, Miss Hershey, Millionaire's Game. Hindi ko maput up yung kanyang comment. Bakit kaya? Alright, so therefore, Millionaire's Game is my all-time favorite. Uh, pwede ba din ang sungka? Why not? Of course. Yes, yes. It's you put it on the table. So therefore, yes, yes sungka. Okay. If, if you like sungka, sorry. Yes. If you like sungka, you should check out a Five Tribes 
uh, that's a really uh, oh, yeah, good board game that that gets the sunka mechanic and puts it into exactly uh, uh, that's the one where you game. you put the things inside diba? and then yes, you like bluff the your way yeah. out tama ba it's, Something it's like the that. one where you get like people and then I you, know, it's you pass different. by Iba yung sinasabi ko, five times pa. <laughs> Kita niya, naguluhan na si Mami Lala. Sorry about that. All right, Coffee Talk and Tech. Hi, Jan! So, is, is your streaming done? So, I was actually on their stream a few minutes ago, and so is Samantha. Okay, if you want to know about, more, you know, tech, about how to do live streaming, go um, check Coffee Talk and Tech. They, like, today, their topic was about camera and audio. So uh, and then the next streams uh, every day, they, uh, every Thurs every Thursdays, and then he also does a show every Tuesday with Jeffrey Smith. All right, and Nicole, I think that's a smiley. Tama ba? Uh, that's a heart. Ah, yeah. oh, that's a heart. Kita niyo hindi ko alam yun na ang aking mga ano. So Miss Nicole, heart palayon. Okay, and Sir Anthony, board games. Oh, I Hello, think he Anthony. was he was in your stream last night. Yes, yes. Yeah, I saw him. I think he's called Mr. Bo, Doctor Bo. Oh no, this one is a different. This oh, is a different. He, he he's really Anthony. Anthony yeah. All right, hi Anthony. I was there watching also the game last night. <laughs> All right, Inspirational Connection TV, the 80s board game, yes. <laughs> okay, Fighting Kitchen, the Isle of Cats is my favorite. I love, I love cats. I've not played that. Maybe it's a I will recent uh, hype game. It's very good. It's, very it's good. nice. Yes. All right. Okay, so for quicker games to, uh, through, my wife and I have logged quite a number of games with Splendor. It's also our go-to gateway Gateway game. Ayan yung gateway. I-explain ko yan sa iyo mamaya, sir. For friends and relatives. The mechanics are easy to teach and understand. I heard the new Marvel Splendor mm. is better, especially yes. for fans of the Avenger fan. Yes, that's why I got it. Thank you, Earl. <laughs> Earl, help me. <laughs> All right. And then... We have Marvel Splendor also coming in. in the oh, oh you can yan. actually Watch pre-order it now. Yeah. Oh, you uh, can pre-order. Yes, pre-orders are yeah. available nga pala. Sa gaming library. Later, explain ni Sir Willow how. Okay? Yeah. And then, Leander Gil Gilia. Gilwa. Sorry Hello, if I mispronounce. Alright, heart. Alright. <laughs> okay, si Sir. Si Sir Will. William, for our community here in Thailand, sequence is our favorite. Yes, I also use sequence for my kids also. Simple to play, strategic with social interaction for its great, especially the kulitan. I agree, yes. sir. And daming variants ng, ano eh, ng sequence, right? Yes. All right. I'm curious to play Gloomhaven. Ooh. Naku, gray. gamer talaga siya. Ooh. Promise. That, that, that's heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy like, na po yan. Physic oh. Physically, 7 kilos, I think. <laughs> uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, you play it. It's a heavy game. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sige, definitely. So, Siguro hindi pa kaya ni Mami Lala yan. <laughs> si Sir Willo kaya na yan. So, sabi ni Vivian, Scrabble and the card one, I f and the card one, I forgot the name. <laughs> we love to play that with Yaya Made and Sam and Pipay. Miss ko yan. Viv, it's called Exploding Kittens. Oh, She's a dear friend. Kittens. Yes, na na-introduce <laughs> din namin sa game boards. Oh, Sammy! Hi, Sammy! Superstar! Another streamer in the house. He also talks about tech. Hey everyone, he's from the US also. Good evening to you, Sammy. Hello. Hey, you should be sleeping. It's 12 midnight. <laughs> All right, hi, Miss B. I love Millionaire's Game, Snakes and Ladder, Game of the Generals. All right, so are you in a new set? Yes, Sammy. You <laughs> did recognize. Yes, I'm in a new set. I'm just trying it out, Sam. I'm trying to, you know, move around the house because I'm getting tired of my old background. All right, Ikigai, Ikigai Diaries, Millionaires and Snakes and Ladders. Fave ko. All right, just continue to comment what your favorite game board is, and we'll include you later in the raffle. So let's go back to Sir Willow. Okay, so um, Sir Willow, now we said, like I said, I mentioned kanina, right? That um, I use actually game boards. As I'm a homeschooler, even prior to the yes. pandemic, I've been homeschooling for almost nine years. Um, I also use board games. So how can board games help improve learning in kids? So for those who are yeah. still, you know, maybe parang, <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Okay, so paano yeah. po? So it just makes uh, makes learning fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I know there are like effective ways of learning, like um, listening to music, um, watching a movie while learning and remembering the parts of the movie. Um, 
but but this one is different because you you play board games and while you're playing the board game you're actually learning about uh certain things that you you concepts mm. that uh you think are hard but when applied it's mm. a bit easier to understand exactly so, yeah. i agree so if, even like economics uh it could be learned easily by a an eight-year-old seven-year-old by just playing certain board games mm-hmm. um for younger kids like uh pattern recognition uh color recognition counting spaces developing mm-hmm. that high hand and eye coordination exactly. um they won't notice that they're learning these things because they're playing but uh it, it's natural for them to learn these things. Yes. Uh, that, actually, yes. I, 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 I learned a, a lot of my skills while playing video games before, uh, then, even history uh, stuff. And then I was developing more when I was playing board games. Board yeah. games. Yes. And as a homeschooling parent and a very intentional, you know, in, in teaching my kids, you know, we would not believe that I use board games for teaching <laughs> biology for chemistry you know my my son's best friend timmy okay um uh, he's what i think he's timmy is 10 or 11 mm-hmm. did you know that his favorite subject is chemistry nice. because <laughs> of game boards <laughs> right what because, game what game did um the one i forgot the, the recent one is ion previous to that is Ooh, um ion yeah and... i forgot the other one uh Okay, uh, Sam, can you comment down below <laughs> that what <laughs> that one is? All right. So even those, and then fauna. Okay. Uh-huh. So for for animals, because you yes. get to know you know different animals from different regions across the world, and you know um, timeline. All right. Timeline is a really good one. Yes. Exactly. So you know, um, uh, especially in math, no, um, I I realize that. Um, you need to be able to do you know um problem solving activities in as they grow up they need yes. to be critical thinkers right yes. and that is also uh you know something that you need to practice although yes. there are really gifted kids in terms of they can really easily get concepts immediately but if things can be learned and then you you get to um, uh, exercise those muscles so to speak Yes. Then through game boards that can improve really their their learning capacity and also um, with game boards it slows them down sometimes because with with the digital games right everything is so fast so when yes. they do things that are a little bit slow they find it boring not yes. engaging enough <laughs> but with board games it's like it simulates that 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 thrill that they have in digital games as well right. Yeah. Uh, the change of pace from like learning uh in like reading a book mm. and learning via playing board games is is perfect for uh children children that get bored in doing just reading a book Correct. um yeah uh, yes. but also one of the basic things that uh kids really need to learn and uh they learn that by playing board games is actually to uh, the concept of rules and yeah, I agree. Following rules. the rules. Yeah. Great. So. Correct. All right. Thank you, Sir Willow. Oh, they're compounded. Yes, that's the, the mm, game. Compounded. compounded. Yeah. And he even has the the add-on. What do you call that? The extension? An expansion. Yes, yeah. expansion. That's the word. Expansion. All right, sir. So um now uh how, what board games? Diba? can benefit kids of various ages syempre iba iba diba so you have <laughs> yeah. ang toddlers ba pwede na sa board games how about uh, school age high school yeah. how about adults like me pwede pa ba ako <laughs> yeah. actually we have uh, board games have evolved to be very inclusive to all ages mm-hmm. and also uh, a tip for uh, parents teaching or uh, teachers trying to teach their students you can actually you are the game master. You can kind of change the rules a bit to make it easier for the for younger kids to understand the game, or even them just playing, uh, playing, pretending to play mm-hmm. is also a way for them to learn uh, just the basic rules. But uh, I'm sorry, I, I saw a comment now by Ron. I, okay. I think uh, I was gonna get into it, but um, the social aspect of board games also in in kids uh, learning how to. Um, talk with other people around the table or Mm -hmm. uh, learning how to be a winner, learning how to be a loser. Uh, They're very important in growing up. 
So EQ yeah. as well, di ba? Yes. Hindi lang yung intellect. Eh. A lot of our kids nowadays, they're very really because it's it's uh, the era of, you know, knowledge information is more easily available rather mm-hmm. than during my time, we really have to go to libraries, buy books. Now all you need to do is like search the net and stuff like that, right? So there are more avenues for them for learning. Pero sabi nga ni Sir Willow, yung EQ ng bata being able to yes. understand that sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and that's fine. <laughs> right? All right, so let's read some yeah, of the yeah, comments yeah. again, sir. So, no Mac Mini? <laughs> no. Yes, no. I'm still using my Mac Mini, though, Sammy. All right, so, sabi ni Fighting Kitchen, is terraforming Mars and Parks yes good? Yes, and yes. You know, I, you, I think it's hard available to... available for you to get, you should, you should get them. Oh, okay, I but think. is it hard? Yeah. I've, I've been trying uh, to... Do I have that? Terraforming I have Mars is a bit of reading for even us adults. Mm-hmm. Uh, Parks, visually, one of the best releases last year. Uh, and the, the, the rules are simple enough for even a 10 year old to play really? uh, and to win. Yes. Wow, okay. I I, so. Now my daughter told me we have it, mom. Okay, but we haven't nice. played it. So maybe <laughs> it's time to play it. All right, Mr. Ron Villaver says, when my kid was young, I kept a copy of Compounded. Yes po, chemistry-themed worker placement game. Oh, di ba? Yun yung mga, mga hindi ko alam kung anong klase po sila. Pero thank you. <laughs> it's called a worker placement game kasi I was really bad at chemistry. But he didn't have an issue with the subject. So we just played Power Grid instead. Power Grid? An economic simulation wow. game. Hello, Ron. Thank you for dropping yes. by. Okay, this actually, Sir on. Ron, may Power Grid din ako pero hindi ko pa nalalaro. Diba? So yeah. probably one of these days we should also. Okay, Miss... Very, very good uh, economic game. Okay. I also s- love Sungka and Chinese checkers. Why not? Diba? We all started yes. with those. All right. Finally, yes, Teacher Red compounded yon. Salamat. Okay. And Fighting Kitchen again. Genius games make fun science game. I agree po. Mm. Okay. And you want to read this out, sir? Uh, sure. Uh, Ron said, I-, I think when kids play board games, they learn important social skills, learning to wait for their turn, learn that everyone else's enjoyment trumps winning, learning how to win and to lose gracefully, which builds good character. Agree. A hundred percent agree, Sir Ron. And Miss B says, I love Monopoly and Chinese. Eh, <laughs> parang naano ko na to. Okay. So I wonder if we can play board games, Lala, with the crafty friends. I would love that. Actually, we would not believe it, but there are actually crafty board games, crafty theme board games, several oh, yes. of them. Okay, I just don't know how we can do it virtually <laughs> during crafty nights. But I'll ask Sir Willow for suggestions. Yeah, you can. I can help you out with that. I, okay. I do. Uh, so board maybe games. we can do a collab with uh, gaming library and the crafty community. <laughs> how we're gonna do that? Okay. Well said, Willow. I agree. Yes, sir. Thank you. I agree. Uh oh. My son is four years old. What board game is suitable for him? Ayan, sir. Pakisagot na lang yeah. po. Uh, there are a lot. Um, uh, stay tuned in, in into the stream. I have um around five games here that I'm gonna be showing you All guys. All right. Okay. Uh, so with different age groups and different skills. All right. So, so watch yeah. out for that, Miss Lavi. All right, Mr. Dama Gaming, my new friend from <laughs> a few minutes ago during uh th- coffee talk and text stream. Hello, I'm here watching your stream. Hello there, sir. Are you from the Philippines by any chance? Wala lang. If if so, you are. Okay, and then, well said, Ron. Yes, Samantha of Inspirational Connection TV agrees with Ron 100%. I would love to learn new board games and play with my siblings, sabi ni Miss B. Hello, Miss Lala. Hello, crafty friend Ayin. Yan, Sir Willow, crafty friend ko po siya sa, oh, during wow. our crafty uh, streams. The Cutting Edge TV. Hi, Ate Lala. Hello, Sir Mario. Pastor Mario is in the house. And um, but hello, Sir Willow did now po from hello. Ayin. Oh, yeah, kasi galing sila kung saan saan. May Facebook, may YouTube. So, um, we, what rabbit hole? Here we come. Oh. Okay, <laughs> yes, but it's a very fun rabbit hole, Trace. In, in fairness, <laughs> all right. So, what's suitable for 10 and 12 years old? 10 and 12 years old, yan, kasi yan yung mga anak naman niya. And their boy, Sir Willow. There are a lot, uh, okay. but if you want. Uh, on top of my head, you can check out uh, King of Tokyo, um, and I think they could play Point Salad at, at that point. 
Oh, okay. So, King of Tokyo and Point Salad. Sige, um, after the show, I will put yung recommendations ni Sir Willow on the description, guys. Alright? So, Sir, um, okay. So, how about, ito na. Ito na yung madagandang tanong, Sir. So, gusto namin mag-board game. So, yun na yung tanong ni Tracy. The rabbit hole begins. So, yes. how is ex how expensive is board games right now? Okay, can it is it affordable? Okay. Uh, it, we in gaming library we are trying to make it uh, as much as possible mm -hmm. the most affordable in, in the country uh, while also um, helping the the industry in mm -hmm. to get into Philippine into the Philippine market. So to answer your question, actually it is very affordable if you're gonna be thinking about how many plays you're gonna get into it. How many people are gonna play it, and uh, what what the enjoyment you're gonna be getting out of it? Um, board games tend to have really high replayability, uh, so you can play it. You're not just gonna buy one board game for let's say six hundred pesos or a thousand pesos and play it just one time. I mean, yeah. there are collectors who do that, but you tend to play this around ten times uh, or more, mm -hmm. um, and also. Just think about um, doing activities and comparing it to board games. Let's say, um, I don't know how much roller coasters are now, but I think EK is around uh, 1, 000, uh, 500 pesos or something. Yeah, something like that. But, if you have yeah. uh, student discounts, 350 something Per person. Like that. So, yes, so per around person. 350. Yes. Yeah, so if you buy a board game, imagine playing uh, the paying for like a 1,000 peso board game that you have. 10 people playing exactly everybody in 10 can play. sessions All right. so now cut divide that by uh the people playing and the how many sessions you have you'll be like paying 50 pesos per Correct. person 10 pesos oh. per person i agree so uh oh, another thing that i think uh would would uh be important it, it doesn't require a console <laughs> Uh, unlike uh, these really good video games that you, you get right now. I mean, right. I'm not uh, bashing those video games because I play mm -hmm. a lot of them also. Yes. But um, board games, uh, you just buy the box and then you get everything yes. there. You yes. invite friends. So I think what, what Willow is trying to say, you know, in, in, in the long and short of it is it's a very good investment. And you don't need to have anything other than, you know, a table. If you don't have a table, you can do the floor. You can use your floor. <laughs> yeah. You can be on the bed. It doesn't matter. Whatever you guys are comfortable with. Even during parties, right? There are lots of party game oh, yeah. boards. Uh, yeah. Promise. And dami po. Yeah. So there. So now, yeah. um, re recently, there have been uh, Filipino-inspired or adapted for the Philippines setting. And gaming library is basically the one responsible for having done that so um in behalf of everybody maraming salamat gaming library because now <laughs> we have actually um um filipino inspired or adapted na yung mga yung mga game boards of the year di ba ganyan Maka, ano ka meron kang i think the first one i had was um code names, uh, code names. the philippine yes. yeah pra, i think i ano eh parang nag ano ako niyan what do you call that yung bago lumabas nag ano ka na no. Uh, pre order or oh, oh, so uh, something like that when it was still being conceptualized, crowdfunding. Said, yeah. Yes, I'm in because <laughs> I really <laughs> love that. And then, because of I think the success of that, and then there are many others now. So, I think uh, Sir Willow is going to actually show, explain, and demo um, some of this uh, um, board games, right, sir. Yes, uh, right. I will. Yes, I will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but so. but yes, we do have a couple of uh, localized board games I have here right now. These are actually not the localized versions, except for one. I got mm -hmm. the review copies because uh, that's what I have on hand right now. Uh, but these games, they're all available now in gaming library. You guys can get them, and I'll be teaching a couple of them. But yeah, uh, we localize games when we think that the Philippine market is up for it. Um, mm. we, but there are also games that are made by Filipinos that you can check out. Uh, one of them is uh, Pawitan Patrol. Uh, Darna is a good one. Bagani. Um, and we have people in our community. Uh, since Ron is here, shout out to Ron. I think uh, Folded Wishes is designed by Ron Villaver. Um, you can also check out Trece. Uh, already uh, on, on the works, if you guys know you 
the comics or the show in Netflix that's on the works and a, a whole bunch more. We just had an event last week. Was that mm-hmm. last week? Yes, last week, where uh, we would play test these games. And I, I'm really proud to say that uh, I, we are excited for these ge- Filipino board games to come out. Yeah. Yeah, we, we that that <laughs> that deserves an applause. All right. <laughs> All yeah. right. So, so, okay, I'll, sir. I'll, I'll demo some of these games. I'm going to be starting from uh, easier games for the younger kids and right. why I recommend them. But we'll start off with stick stuff. Hold on. Let me just put this on the side. Right here. Okay. Yeah, so this is stick stuff. I recommend this for like younger kids who are not that patient yet with playing games but uh they just start to, to develop like hand and eye coordination and all of these things well, that the, you have to start the with. pieces are so nice they look very sturdy sir yeah these are all plastic uh we already localized this mm-hmm. i think mommy lala has a, a localized version yes. i don't know if you can show it but uh this one uh we localized this like two years ago or last year but it's a dexterity game and also a color um recognition game so it's a tower right here i'll show it sideways it's a tower with a stick but it has a spring on the end connecting it to the base so it wobbles a bit ah (laughs) okay so that's where the the problem (laughs) lies yes also uh you get this bag with a bunch of sticks colored sticks on both ends so when you get one there's white blue red and uh yellow uh basically the basic gist of the game is you get one of the sticks you draw one of the sticks and you place it on the tower without making the, the any of the other sticks fall but what's oh. nice about this is you can actually do different things so if you see here it's uh white all right you, it has to touch white also and then this is blue or blue green <laughs> It has to touch blue green. This is yellow. It has to touch yellow, or this one, uh, and this end has to touch white also. Oh, okay. So what you can do here is actually you can just place it like that. And this is a valid move because blue is touching blue, yellow and is touching yellow. yellow. Oh, okay. Yes. Once when then the next player draws another one. Oh, let's let's make another one. So this one, as you can see, it has different lengths for different colors also. Exactly. But what you can do here is actually place it this way. There's a notch. In the middle, you can put it this way and make it balance ah, that way. So so white is just, touching white. Angaling. It's yeah. not just putting, sir, like one on top of the other, no? Yes, so it's then not. not just then galing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited you can place now. it like oh. this, and as you can see, it wobbles. Mm-hmm. As more sticks you put in, uh, it's gonna wobble more. But let me give you an example of other things that you can do. You can place it here. It's gonna go sideways like that. Uh, then let me just get the perfect one. Um, this one, this one, this one. You can also place sticks on the sticks, so you can place it this way, as long as it's the same color. Oh, it doesn't have to be like inside that yes. hexagonal. <laughs> Is it hexagon one, two, three, four, five? Yes, yes hexagonal hexagon. base. All right, angaling. Yeah. So so, so when does the, you, the game end or who wins yeah so th- it has rules inside to play like uh different modes but mm-hmm. one of my favorite modes is actually the cooperative mode where you, we just try to put as much sticks as possible into the tower before everything falls uh i think the maximum we had people place is around like 15 sticks oh because wow. when you it, it starts to really wobble when you uh put these sticks on but when you want to play competitive, uh, let's say it's my turn and I place it here. Let me try to make it fall. Make this fall. Let's say I, I'm. Uh-oh. Oh no, it fell. Oh no. Accidentally, uh, this... it was pushed out. So that <laughs> he loses his turn or he gets no. uh, he's disqualified. He gets the stick that is fallen. As long as there's oh. one stick on top of the base, the game goes on. But right, the stick right. is placed uh, in front of that person and he gets negative points when everything falls whoever has the uh, most amount of points gets to win the game all right yeah. That's but very i recommend exciting. i recommend playing this if you have like younger kids uh actually like three two can play i played with a one-year-old my uh niece is a one-year-old one and a half 
who played this with us. Uh, she doesn't really recognize the color, but just having her place these sticks on top of this this base. Yes. Uh, is is hand and eye coordination. Coordination, yeah, yes. that's true. Th that's how they start, the ba. Right? Now for adults, mm -mm. if you guys want to play this uh, harder mode, you can actually lift up this uh, this spring to the edge, and it's gonna make it a a bit actually a lot wobbly here. So you can play this. Oh like wow! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so more competitive, right? Yeah. Okay. But even but even as adults, uh, highest is I think fifteen, oh, or wow. around that line. Uh, That's around very that exciting. Minute. But how how expensive is this? Is this affordable, sir? Will, will, uh, will this is actually uh one thousand two hundred ninety nine right now in oh, on not bad. gaming library. But uh, since uh, we're on uh, Mommy Guide Inc, you guys get a ten percent off by using uh, the code GL Yay! Mommy Guide Inc. You can uh. Put that in on on the checkout from our website. Yes. Yeah, so wait for it later <laughs> during. Actually, I posted it on our Facebook uh, kagabi, but later I will also put it in the description. So wait nyo lang po para sayang din po yung ten percent additional. Yeah. Thank you, gaming library. <laughs> so again, this is called Sir Willow. What is it called again? Uh, this is called Stick Stack. Stick so stack. what you can find in the website is called Stick Stack Philippines. Uh, it's gonna say on the side. Uh, Parang walang laglagan. Because <laughs> we had to put something here. Walang laglagan. Or like that. But right. it's a Philippine colored box. Uh, but it's still the same game. Okay. Same, same things inside. All right. Oh, sir, before you, you move on to the next, ano, basa lang ulit tayo. So, Go Mr. Ahead. Doma, I thought he was from the Philippines. No, he's not. He's actually from Northeast India. And I guess you Ooh. both are Philippines. And I love, yes, we're from, we're, Mr. Willow and I are both from the Philippines. Yes, visit us uh, when it's safer. All right. Someday I may visit Philippines. Yes, please do that. All right. And Scrap Stash, Lala and our crafty friends, let's go na sa rabbit hole. <laughs> Love to play yung craft team <laughs> board game. Yes. Okay. And Sir Ron, again, with a very awesome comment. Agree with Willow on replayability. Board games are experiential. Much like watching movies or eating good food, it's always magnified with the company you are with. The value from yes. the initial investment is multiplied with the people you get to play with now and in the future. Ang galing ni, Son, ni Sir Ron, in <laughs> fairness. And fighting pala, fighting kitchen actually is my son's best friend, Timothy. Hi, Timmy! Ooh. Yes, Hello. he's the one who likes chemistry because of playing compounded. <laughs> okay, how about, at, and every, like, every week he has like, Tita, do you have this? Do you have this? He, he likes board games so much. So how about the big switch? Maybe he's asking oh. if it's available and if it's a good game. Uh, it's a localized game, yes. Uh, it's not available currently, actually, in Game ah, okay. I think we ran out of stuff, and I don't think they're uh, printing anytime soon. Oh, okay. But, Timmy, don't worry. Uh, Tita Lala has. Okay, so we can play. <laughs> All right. Ron Villaver, thank you for the mention, Willow. Uh, no, no worries. You guys can check out Folded Wishes on right. uh, Board Game Geek, actually. If you want to learn a, a lot about board games, you can check out boardgamegeek.com. Uh, uh, yeah. Folded Wishes was designed by Ron and is published already. So you oh, guys can my! Oh, my, Sir Ron! I need to know what that is. Right? Somebody na, diba, na meron na siyang, ano, na published. Yes. Very uh, okay, very inspiring. Ito para sa you, Sir Ron. Salamat po. Okay, Miss B <laughs> says, "Yay, thanks for the 10% discount." Yes, thank you to no Gaming worries. Library. Thank you, Sir William, for the Ayan, ang dami na nagte thank you for the discount. <laughs> okay, Sir William, board games are great investments to use anywhere and anytime. Able to engage a community even with different yeah. cultures. Agree. It transcends yes, my, that's cultural my dad and, barriers. Yeah. Agree. That's my dad, and he uses board games also to engage with like uh, communities in other countries. All right, because uh -oh. sir is a missionary. Missionary. Yes. yes, he's a missionary. Are there are these games in the U.S.? Yes, uh, some. Yes, some. 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 Um, but but not the Philippine version. Yeah. Um, this these are all available in the U.S. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, six tap. To be honest, I'm not sure because we found this uh game. Uh, in the Asia market, and we really loved it. That's why we uh, had to get it for the Philippine market. Yes, but it's okay. Um, 
Sam, Samantha, maybe you can go to gaming library. I don't know if they can ship back to the US. We, we do have international shipping. Yes, uh, we do. But uh, it's a bit Pricier. expensive. Yeah, you, expensive. Might, you might be able to find it in, 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 the, US. in the US. All yeah. right. There you go. So let's have some more games. Uh, All right. Play through See, I'll, some games. I'll go lose. through one that I guess is an, uh, on up from that. Just do this. All right, we'll do Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Oh, yeah, I um, love that. <laughs> this is the French version. Uh, I got the review copy again. So we get these copies before we localize them. Uh, but this is Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Like, yes. even here, I learned that goat is called Bo or Bo or what <laughs> uh -oh. in, in French. So uh, there. I did the see that the version. Yeah. The, the, Philippi the Filipino version. Oh, there you yeah. go. The localized so, um, it's just a deck of cards that has a taco, a cat, a goat, a cheese, and a pizza. It is also a dexterity game. I really recommend dexterity games for like younger kids. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because you can adjust on how you're going to be playing. Like when you play these type of games with um, kids, Laluna, for younger kids against adults, you can go a little bit slower so that they can enjoy these games yeah i actually yeah. tried playing that this morning with my son <laughs> <laughs> it's How hard actually it? to play if there's just the two of you it's like i'm i thought i was gonna win already and then i messed up with the with the i, I forgot the narwhal Nar, is it narwhal narwhal yeah <laughs> yeah i forgot oh. i i did the gorilla <laughs> so it yeah, went that, that... back to me so it's like <laughs> that's a I, really funny yeah, funny way of playing this yeah. exactly it's really nice yeah. i highly so this recommend is, this yeah so this is more of a uh recognition game picture recognition game so all you have to do is say taco cat goat cheese pizza so everyone in the chat you guys can comment taco cat goat cheese pizza taco cat goat cheese pizza mm -hmm. so you say that uh, multiple times on your turn you have a deck of cards in front of you and you just say that se in that sequence. So you start with taco and slip a card. Taco. Next person would say cat. Next person would say goat. Cheese. Pizza. Taco. Cat. Goat. If it's the same, uh, if it's the thing that you said, so in this case, it's the goat, everyone has to slap the deck of cards. Whoever is the last on, on, on the deck of cards gets the whole a deck of Stacked. cards yeah <laughs> so so uh you win by finishing the cards in front of you yeah all right uh, so it's what, not what's... as easy as you you, you think yes. it is but it's, <laughs> it's so much fun yeah, so that's taco cat goat cheese pizza but we do have special cards in here mm -hmm. we have the marmot the warwall uh, the narwhal gorilla the marmot is actually uh the groundhog mm -hmm. the groundhog the narwhal and the gorilla basically Anytime these cards uh, come out, even if it's not uh, taco cat go cheese pizza. So mm -hmm. let's say I say cat and then the groundhog uh, gets out. You, you have special um, actions that you have to do. For the groundhog, you tap the table twice and then slap the card. Oh, you For have the to narwhal, slap. I thought only yeah. uh, only do like tapping on the table. You have to no, tap you have, pa rin pala. Yes, you, uh, you still have to slap. Okay, uh, the narwhal, you have to clap on top of your head, yes. making a horn. Yes. Clap and then ah, <laughs> slap the, so... the part. Okay. And then the gorilla, you pound your chest twice like a gorilla yes. and then slap, slap. the part. <laughs> Alright. And then the uh, last one to do that would get all the, the cards on the table. Yes. Alright. Yes. Uh, it's a really fun game. E easy to also adjust for younger kids. Um, you can slow down your actions for like younger kids because of course adults have better reflexes mm -hmm. uh, but I'm pretty sure after a while uh, kids can really uh, be faster than you in yes they will pictures. once they get to <laughs> understand oh, yeah, yeah I'll always be the loser in this game <laughs> all right so that's taco cat goat cheese pizza and yes. it's very affordable right sir yes. I think this is 599 for yes. the whole game uh -oh. And I, I, I'm I'm saying that this is one of the most uh, bang for your buck games in terms of playing, 
and uh, getting a lot of people playing. So this plays up to six in the box or eight in the box. Mm-hmm. So imagine just play play one game with eight people uh, divided by five ninety nine. Right, super <laughs> worth it. All right, so we've done uh, stick stack taco cat goat cheese pizza all right so the next one of papakita ni sir willow is uh we'll, we'll go on ahead on just one yes um, that's the one we're gonna be actually doing a raffle on later so what you're gonna be getting is the philippine edition this is the english edition uh that you can get in the u.s so um these have english cards but um they're both fun either way so what you get in the box uh immediately you get these easels uh these are plastic easels and these markers you, they have uh you can write on them and you can also they have erasers for it so dun pa lang actually sulit kana. <laughs> uh exactly. very sulit you yes. have eight of these one two three four five six seven of these and then you have a deck of cards and the markers the come with it as well, right? Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, these deck of cards, they have... These are like... I'm pretty sure they're 500 cards. And they have 5 cards. No, 100 cards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 110 cards with five, card, 5 words each. So you get 550 words already with the game. Uh, basically, what you do... This is the first cooperative game that I'm going to be teaching you. Um, cooperative game, meaning uh, everyone is working together to try to beat a high score or the board game. Mm. Uh, if you've played Pandemic, that is also considered a cooperative game. Yes, that's the first one uh, cooperative game that we were able to play. There you go. Um, so what you do is hand out these pieces to everyone else playing. Let's uh-huh. say we have a three-player game. Um, and then we draw 13 of these cards. One, two, three, four. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Put the rest uh, on, uh, on the side of the box. Uh-huh. And what you're going to do is you're just going to flip the... Uh, give a card to a person, but that person doesn't have to see it. So let's say I am the it for the this turn. Uh-huh. So I'm not going to look at this card. I'm going to show you guys, but I'm not going to look. All there right. you go. That is the, the card. Okay. I'm going to say a number from 1 to 5. All right. And that is the word that I'm going to try to guess. Ah, okay. Yeah. So let's say I'm gonna look at the card now. Let's say uh we choose number two, bubble. I'm sorry, it's flipped. Okay. All we right. choose number two, bubble. Okay. Now on on everyone's turn, uh let's say Miss Lala, what 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 one word can you say, uh to make me try to say bubble? Floats. Okay. So let so what you're gonna do is write floats on your easel. Let's try to do that. Floats. And right. let's say one more word, um, Mami Lala. One more word. Uh, yes. Circles. Circles. Oh, circles. Parang <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So what's going to happen is before you guys show me these two clues, you're going to show each other. And okay. if any of them are, are the same, let's say both of you put floats, both of them get erased. Ah, okay. If it circles, both of them get erased. Now, if the non-erased ones, you show it to me, and then now I look, okay, floats and circles. I might guess maybe like a balloon. Mm-hmm. That could be one. Uh, if I say a word already, I also uh, that ends the turn and we lose the point. Uh, we lose this card. Uh, we're trying to get all 13. Ah, yeah. okay. So... Now, if I get it right, let's say I uh, I say, oh, floats, bubble, uh, circles, I'll say bubble. Now, we get this point, and we go through all 13 to see which score we get. This is very fun with more people. And the Philippine edition, which is available now in gaming library. Oh. So, Sir words... Willow, when, when, do yeah. you, when does the group win? This is a cooperative game, right? Yeah. So, if so, there are 13 cards there, how many of those are we supposed to like guess correctly for us to win as a group? <laughs> No. All right, so uh, the game is actually very nice. Uh, they don't tell you if you win or lose, but they give ah. you scores. Ah. So if you look here, um, if you do successfully make 30 cards, you get the perfect score. Can you do it again? Yeah. Ah. Uh, but if you get lower, 
uh, uh, the zero to three. Actually, the first time we played this, we got that, and it <laughs> tells us to try again and again and again to be better at the game. Like, All right. So yeah, that's so, very exciting. And the good thing about it, I think, especially for children who may have issues with, you know, losing, you know, diba? Yes. Minsan mga bata, they don't want to lose. They always want to win, right? Yes. So, so maybe you can ease them on to, you know, game boards to one of these things, right? But not yes, the very, very young ones, you know. I think school age kids can actually do this already. Yeah, they, they learn about uh, word association. Mm-mm. They learn about... Um, be cooperative play which is really good i played this with my seven-year-old uh nephew uh and he he likes it it he has weird words for different uh uh, words also but it's fine Uh, you you get to uh, learn how to play around that so the philippine edition gets you words like adobo kilig jollibee correct so very nice like this one i'm holding now says lalaki okay uh Says lalaki, bowling, huan, bughaw, ibon. Yeah. So vocabulary words as well, right? Yes, oh. for Filipino learning yeah, they, kids. Even colloquial <laughs> words like torpe. Yes, <laughs> they're going to get to learn these. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really nice. Uh, right. what's, uh, you can also just customize your words if you'd like. Uh, make it into a subject that they're currently learning. Um, so that you give these certain words, let's say ah, you're, that, you're learning that, about science. That's cool. Uh, or, that's a great suggestion, biology. right? Yeah. yeah. So if you're having a hard time memorizing concepts, do them in like this way. And then people ask you, okay, clues, right? And then you can actually yes. learn uh, these concepts fairly easy, right? Very nice. Yes. All right. So that's <laughs> the third day. How much is just one, Sir Willow? All right. This is actually 1,400, but... We are currently having a sale. It's table International Tabletop Day last weekend. All so right. until tomorrow, Mm-mm. this is actually just six hundred ninety nine. All right, Sir Willow. If it's six ninety nine, can they still use the ten percent or no more? From Mommy Guy. Yes, they can still use the ten percent. Oh, see, mas mumura pa po so yeah, nakasale so na. So it's around six hundred thirty. All right, so intayin yun po yung ano yung code. <laughs> All right. So, sir, before we proceed to your next game, Lovin Tio Perez. Tama po ba ang pronunciation ko? Do you know him? Uh, the wiser uh, your friends with words, the difficult it is to guess. Oh my gosh, which we yes, like. Yes, So, like, like a while ago, we said uh, bubble. Mm-hmm. Um, some of my friends actually put Michael. <laughs> okay. Because my Michael Bugle, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, it, it's very fun with adults also. Like there's one, it was uh, the word was pit, and people were putting Brad, or, or these sort of uh, actors into so the game. So it it, yeah. it you know it doesn't have to exactly really uh, pertain to it, but can be sounds like or something like that. Parang ano no yes. charades na mood. Yes. Oh, you, that's why it it's a different kind of charades, more mm-hmm. of word association. Yeah. Correct. And Samantha says that's a nice one. Indeed, Samantha. So we have the one we're raffling out. Today is a Filipino or localized version, so maybe you won't be able to use it. But if ever you win, Samantha, I'll give you that. I don't know. Is there an English version, sir? Uh, there is an English version. I'm just but not do you sure have it? Have... Oh, not sure. Uh, we, had, we had it on stock. Uh, okay, they have check. it. If you win, okay. Drell Palma, this is a nice interactive game for our grades schooler i agree po sir is it dre or drell sorry ha medyo ang mata ni mami lala eh, malabo i think, I think it's dre no Uh-oh. and hans sir hans hello po Hi, sir hans <laughs> thanks for dropping in okay so we're doing the last uh, demo sir the last game for today uh, yeah. yeah no no I, may two pa pala tayo yes i, I want to do two. illusion because i i don't know how to play <laughs> illusion actually okay uh, before before we go to illusion let's go to point salad, point salad. All which right. is uh one of our uh highly rated uh board games right now that we really recommend uh, i play this with chat i play this online so if you want a game you can play uh uh interactive uh mm-hmm. with your viewers you can actually play this mm-hmm. on the Okay, um, so, so we this can is try already... that for our crafty nights because um, oh, the viewers yeah. can join along. <laughs> yeah, this is all already our uh, localized version that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, you get all these um, 
rule books, uh, one in English, one in Indonesia, and one in Filipino. This is actually all Filipino now. So really, really cool uh, that we localized this. Uh, what we changed in the game is actually in the English version of Point Salad, uh, you have B7 um, vegetables, the tomato, the cabbage, the lettuce, the carrot, the onion, and then it was a bell pepper. But since we're in Southeast Asia, we changed it into a mango because we love mangoes. All right, <laughs> mango <Yeah>. it is. <laughs> so this is Point Salad. Um, um, for uh, this is a bit more math than your the other games that I was teaching you. So this would be actually okay for like uh, eight, nine, ten, uh -huh. ten year olds. Yeah. So uh, point salad. Uh, just so everyone knows, point salad is actually a term that we use in board gaming. It's a Whoop, there it's you a go. mechanic. It's yeah. a I, I would say a mechanic or a style of game uh -huh. uh, that you get all of these um, points from different ways and you combine them and then that is your salad which is the your points so oh. they, the the creator of this made it made the pun of making a game called point salad basically what you do is you try to shop is it shop or you try to select these mm -hmm. um, ingredients uh, vegetables salad, ingredients yeah. to make your salad uh, what you do basically is, hold up, I'm not going to shuffle them anymore, but I'm going to place them here. Sorry. And then, how about, no, Okay, like I found this on the web for what Sorry, do you do if you try to shop it. <laughs> Where? Sorry, my CEO was... Oh, oh. I didn't get that. Could you try? <laughs> no, not see. How about, there you go. Uh, just an example setup, but... There it is. Okay. Um, so let's bring it down a bit. Okay, there you go. Okay. So those open uh, cards, just single ones, right? So one of each? Yes, just All one right. of each. And then the rest of the deck, you you put them into three stacks and then place them on top. Okay. And then you make this uh, three by three grid. Okay. So that is uh, your point salad, uh, the point salad gameplay setup. Uh, what you do basically is you get either on your turn either two ingredients from here okay. or you get a point card okay. that's the whole game <laughs> that's the whole game but uh, what's interesting with the game is once you get a point card as you can see i'm going to try to put closer here mm -hmm. so you get one, one point, point for each tomato or one point and one point for each lettuce so once you get this point point card in your salad generally you'd want cabbages and tomatoes in your salad oh uh, okay right? so if it's my turn i can actually get to to I, I can select let's say for example i got a card that says maybe three points so probably that would require more ingredients and if it's mm -hmm. available there i can get them yes on it? your turn you can get them so oh, on your turn let's turn. play a two-player game let's play this player and this player okay. on the right uh so let's say it's this player's turn um i'm gonna choose this one Okay. All right, he gets this point. Now, there's a new points point card. It says tomatoes at the end of the game with even an um, even total number of tomatoes, you get seven points. But if it's odd, you get only three points. So you're going to try to balance that out. Uh, let's say this person decides he's going to get two lettuce. He wants to invest on lettuce for his salad. Now, what you do is these drop down here. So those are available now for this, this guy. Now, knowing that this guy wants tomatoes and cabbages, he's gonna instead of taking a point card, he's gonna get he's them. gonna get ingredients. So right. he wants this cabbage and this tomato. Now, at the end of the game, that gives him two points because he has one point for the tomato and one point more for the cabbage. Now you keep doing this until the the cards run out. On a oh. two player game, you get uh six cards from each, and then you shuffle them, and then that's the setup. Okay, so but, the one who ends up with the highest uh, number of points at the end wins. Yes. All right, up to how many players is this one, Sir Willow? This is up to six players. Six players. Wow, this is yes. this is exciting. Okay, yes. so this is really fun. Yeah, I Even, think so. Uh, eventually, you get like cards like these that uh, are negative points, so you don't. Oh want my, there are negative points. Or uh, mangoes in your salad, but you want lettuces, but that's where where the math goes in. It's basic math. Mm. So let's say 
at the end of the game, um, let's just pretend at the end of the game, this is your 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 point salad in right. in front of you. You got this points, these these points. Okay, so you have a cabbage, tomato, mango, three lettuce, two carrots, and two onions. Uh-huh. So we count the point cards. So this one says one point for each tomato and one for cabbage. So you get two points for this card. So that okay. is two points for me. Okay. Now we we count this card. Uh, three points for each lettuce. So this is three, six, nine, All and right. then you get negative points for each onion and mango minus the one, two, three. So this card oh is six points. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Plus so you just do that for one. everything. Oh, okay. And then uh, whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. That is awesome. I think I like that game. I like it is, them. It is very I, fun. I, I like <laughs> I like all the games. This is gonna be the problem. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, Timmy says so throw burrito is one of my top party games. Indeed, <laughs> oh. Timmy. They're very good at that. I, I rarely win when I'm playing with them. <laughs> Okay, coffee talk and tech. John says eat a burrito is my game. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> that too, John. All right. And Timmy also says, my favorite co-op games are Forbidden Desert Ooh. and Back to the Future Back in oh, Time. Oh, you have Back to the Future Back in Time. Already. I don't That's have a, both of those, nice Timmy, game. yet. Okay. So you have to teach uh, Tita Lala how to do that. All right. <laughs> okay. So finally, okay. So that's Point Salad. How much is Point Salad, sir? Uh, point Salad is, I think, 1200 But right now, you can also get it for 699 so that's until tomorrow. So if you can check out uh, gaminglab.com, um, it's already on automatic discount. Uh, it's six nine nine for the price until tomorrow, Saturday. Okay, and don't forget, we have an additional ten percent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So last na po, last game natin for uh, this morning, uh, this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, this one um, is one of my favorite uh small card games currently that's why i wanted to showcase it mm. um it is a co- uh, competitive game but if you like colors or if you are an, art- an artist uh this is one to look up for okay so this is called illusion okay is it magic <laughs> some sort of uh, magic style some sort some sort of magic okay yeah. oh hi so, angie sorry sir ha huh? Good. Shout out to Angie. Angie, hi. Is it good evening to you right now? Good afternoon. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. A lot of people jumping in. Young ones like you. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So, so this, this is illusion. illusion. All right. Illusion. Uh, basically, uh, it's a color recognition game. If that's uh, that's the way you say it. Uh, what what you do? is check if this color on this card is more or less than the other card so what you do is just set it up you get the whole deck put okay. it here on get all side. these arrow cards place it outside you flip okay. one all and right. then we're looking at color blue it's saying right. we're looking so at blue. color blue. okay yes okay so we're placing the top card here and okay. basically what you're gonna do on your turn you either get a card from here or you can say that the sequence is already wrong. Like in Timeline. Uh, I'm sure you played Timeline. Yes. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do, let's say I, I get the card. So now you check which has more blue, this or this card. So of course, I think this has less. So I'm placing it on the left side of this card. Now it's your turn, Mami Lala. Uh, do you think that this is correct? Okay, sorry, the, the other one, the P. No, do you think that this is correct? The sequence is correct. Hmm. This this yes. card has more blue than this. Okay, so you yes. think it's correct. So you're going to place a new card. So now you get this card. Okay. Where do you think it's supposed to be? On this space? We're still doing space, the blue, right? The blue. Or this okay. space. Just look at the blue, yes. I said more yung nandito, no? So, yeah, on the right. Right here? Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. Perfect. Now it's my turn. It's the next person's turn. I think that you are wrong, Mami Lala. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Okay, so I say, sir. I declare on my turn that I think the sequence is already wrong. So now we flip the cards. 
or red. This says it has 1% blue. This says it has 18% blue. And the last card that you just put, it says 22% blue. So the sequence is correct. So Mami Lala, which is the last uh, person to do her turn, gets the point. Yay! There you go. <laughs> if, if it was wrong, let's say this was here, on this side it was 122, then 18, then this point would be mine because I saw that it was wrong. Yeah. Oh. So basically that's the whole game. And uh, believe it or not, it's a very interesting game because even this, it is 22%, per, uh, 4%. This has 4% more blue than this one, but you can't really you can't tell really that. Tell, no. uh -oh. So, so it, you will know for sure at the back. Yes. So that's because it's an illusion. So that's why it's called illusion. You yes. may so you think... Get all yeah. these cards. Oh, that's and cool. And then uh, every time, maybe on the next time we play, uh, instead of blue, uh, we're going to be checking out green or maybe yellow or maybe red. That's why this almost has infinite replayability. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that that's Illusion. Is, that uh, is really nice. How how expensive or how cheap is Illusion? Illusion is 850 pesos. Yeah. Mm, mas mahal pala then, siya. Yeah. Then you can use your um, discount code. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, all right. So that's then, nakaka ano. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Because uh, may simultaneous, di ba may nagaganap na uh, uh, tawag to, problema ng uh, scheduling sa aking center. So, nag- <laughs> Nag-aano si Mami Lala. Nag-multiple tasking ang, ang, ang lola niyo, ang Mami Lala. Alright, so again, those are the four, just four of the so many game boards that you can actually choose from, from gaming library. How many games do you actually have right now in your in your shop? Sir, oh. do, would you know? <laughs> Trivia for you? That's a lot. That's around... Super a lot. Currently on stock, probably around... Not 600 or more, more or 800 or more it, it around that it plays around because uh we have these games that go out of stock because people tend to buy a lot in in certain times so okay yeah. Sige, uh, more or less so ganun karami. and we just featured today this more this afternoon one two three just, just five, five. Yes. all right <laughs> pero ang dami po talaga all right so uh before we go and ask how papaano ganyan so i just like to read um timmy's comment will illusion be problematic to color blind people uh there are certain color blind people um that yeah, uh will so. have problems with it uh like if they see I, I forgot what they're called but if they see blue and green really close together but still they're this different shade that's why i don't yeah. think um wolfgang warsh uh, the designer of the board game and the Publisher Pandasaurus didn't have any any more things to do because what you can, what they can do is uh, check the shades, yeah. but it, it it's it's very difficult if it's super close together. Yes. That's that's the and besides, even if you have perfect vision, I don't think that's a guarantee. Ah, uh, yes. you can, because <laughs> it's not. illusion. Eh? There's an illusion uh, factor uh, in in it. All right, so sir, okay, because of that, so. How can they, you know, get to find gaming library? What's coming up, and then where to find gaming library? What games are on sale or new? Okay, so how po? So yung mga social media right. handles natin. Yes. <laughs> so we we are on Facebook, uh, gaming library at gaming library. You guys can check that out. We do uh live streams from almost uh we do every week uh Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eight p.m. PST. Uh, sometimes it extends to 12 o'clock in the midnight, but we tend to do it for like one to two hours. We teach board games, we tell you what's on stock, we give out discount codes, we play games. Um, we have shows uh, telling you the top 10 for like learning games, top 10 for Father's Day games. Uh, you can check all of that at facebook.com slash gaming library. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, then... we, you can, we are also on Instagram. Uh, here we feature a lot of the people tagging us. We also post um, our promos and uh, giveaways on, on here, uh, stories, events. You can check out uh, Instagram. We also have a TikTok recently. 
Uh, it's fairly new, but we're, we're going to be starting to uh, explain board games in like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. So if you want to learn very quickly about board games, you can oh, follow our TikTok at gaming.library. Right. And you can buy games and see all of these blogs, uh, promo sales in gaminglibrary.com. Uh, currently, we, have, we do have sales uh, until tomorrow, June 19. Uh, midnight, uh, you're going to be able to get uh, your games for six nine nine, dollars uh, certain games, and we do have bundles also and big discounts for that. So if you guys want to check that out, that is GamingLibrary.com. Also, I'm sorry, I, I think I missed uh, okay, this one, but you guys can check out uh, G Live Game Night on YouTube since we have ah. a few of YouTube people here. G Live Game Night. Uh, we do our playthroughs and we put there uh, some of the reviews that we that we make and okay. events. So G Live Game Night, that's a Facebook yes. page. Yes, our our stream is called G Live Game Night because uh, right. Gaming Library Live G ah, instead of okay. G Live. G All Live. right, so it's a different. <laughs> so they have two Facebook accounts, no? So one for their streams, it's G Live Game uh, Live. Uh, no, 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 G Live for YouTube. Uh, and then Facebook is uh, Gaming YouTube. Library. Oh, why didn't we put yes. that? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, uh, sorry. We forgot to put that yeah. in. But I'll put it in the description. All right. Sure. No so worries. as promised, we're going to be having a raffle. So I'm just double checking the names. Okay, even if you <laughs> commented but you didn't comment on your favorite board game. So um, you will not be included in the um the, the raffle all right again so let's try to do this okay so why is it over there why is it so so far up hold on just um, another plug um i'm sorry uh, okay, if you guys yes. want to play board games online or yes, play want. with us in our streams or maybe you'd want us to guest here uh we do have a community group uh, okay. it's called gila game night community you guys can join that uh, we set up board games through Board Game Arena, uh, Tabletop Simulator. Those are free. Uh, I also do host um, a couple of games with um, my physical games here. Uh, so you can join our us in the live stream. So you All can right. join G Live Game Night community. Uh, on sir, Facebook. Willow, can you send that over to me, the links? So yes, I, can, I will. Yeah, so I can put it in the description <laughs> after the show. All right, yeah. so going back to the raffle. So this is it, guys. So the it's names. A lot of people. Yeah, so the <laughs> names, okay, I'll run through them fast. So Sam E, because we have two Samantha. Sam E, Ceci, Samantha, Mildred, Earl, Lavi, Tracy, B, Rama, Mr. Doma Gaming, Ron, Timothy, Leander, Ikigai, Vivian, uh, who else? Uh, I think uh, William. Anthony, there you go. All right. So, sir, let's start. This is it. Okay. All right. So, who is our winner for this afternoon? It's Samantha. Samantha is from the U.S. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have a problem. All right. Samantha, first time on Mummy Guide Inc. And winner okay but i don't think i can give her sir the the localized version because <laughs> she's she's american so she cannot understand the filipino version okay yeah. so we have to get the english version okay and don't worry po for those who um um joined maraming maraming salamat po again um gaming library actually now has a lot of sale going on and on top of that you can get additional 10 percent by using the discount code that they give to mommy guide inc just for today until this sunday or is it tomorrow until sunday um, midnight yeah. until sunday midnight and so sir thank you so much again sir willow for jumping in on mommy guide inc and i hope that thank we can invite you over again you know for another game board uh you know time with with all all of you maybe a specific topic this time around let's say if you have a new one localized uh game or another new one all right and so with that okay we would like to say um 
thank you so much for joining me, Mami Lala, and my uh, guest for to for this afternoon, Mr. Willa Turingan of Gaming Library. Maraming maraming salamat. Till next Friday. Don't forget tomorrow I have another crafty night, the last day for Father's Day event here at Mami Guide Inc. Bye!